Hi guys, little change in plan for the next video here for the new channel. Uh, a couple of users are asking about what other types of wood we can carve because I used cottonwood bark on that first video. And yes, I do prefer carving cottonwood bark, but I carve everything guys. So what we're gonna do, instead of putting that other wood spirit on with the knife, if you wanna see that, you can go to my other channel, Sticks and Stones uh, Carvings. Just go down below, page down, you'll see it. You can always subscribe there also because we're going to be going back and forth in between a lot of videos here. But in this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to go out to the log pile and I'm going to pick a piece of wood and we're going to make a wood spirit on that. All right. Just something that everybody could find. Uh, I think I have some cedar out here in the log pile. So let's go inspect that and we'll get right to another video. And this time we'll carve one with power. Only we'll use just a log from the pot. Okay. All right. Let's go out. Okay, let's comb around in the mess here I got out here. Yeah, there we go. I knew I had a piece of cedar out here. This guy will work perfect. Okay. That works. We'll use that. All right. I found myself a nice piece of cedar. It's just a small cedar log. But uh, that right there will be fine. You guys could use a piece of maple if you like. You could use a piece of pine. Uh, you might have different trees in your yard that uh, are carvable, you know. So whatever you can find, grab a small piece, make it about a foot long, and we'll try it uh, on that, and we'll make a wood spear out of this log here. What I'm gonna do with mine is I'm gonna cut it in half with my bandsaw, or split it, something. But I want it flat on the back so I can hang it on the wall, all right? Or you could just carve the log as a log and leave it that way, okay? So whatever you want. What we're gonna do is uh, take this cedar log and see if we can make a wood spirit out of it. And then you guys get the idea that you don't need a piece of cottonwood bark. And we'll use the same techniques and see what we come up with, all right? But before we do that, all right, I'll probably save that video for tomorrow because I've kind of been in the middle of a bunch of things here today. <laughs> uh, I just want you to know, I'm gonna recommend this product, but there are many ways to hold your carving. So in this video, we're gonna talk about holding your carving a little bit more because we really didn't cover that much now you don't have to use what i recommend i'm going to put my store link in the bottom like i said and you guys can look around on amazon there's plenty of vices and th uh, holders that you can use uh i'm going to recommend this all right but sometimes uh a lot of my carvings i do i'll just take a board like this all right and i'll drill a bunch of holes in it and then i'll take my piece whatever that may be, and I'll mount it to the board and I'll screw it in from the back. Then I'll put the board into a vise, okay? So you don't have to use or buy an expensive piece of equipment such as this right here. I happen to use that because I need to hold big logs. If you guys wanna get into the chainsaw carving, stuff like that, you might wanna invest in one of these down the road. But by all means, there's plenty of other ways that you can hold your carvings, all right? So, this right here is my main carving device I use. This is a, a jaw horse. It's made by Rockwell, okay? And it's, it's a real good vice. And you can get it if you, or you just click one of the links below, all right? I have my main store that I'll put in the description of every link. Everything I use is in that store, all right? And I'll be adding more and more as we make more videos. But this, this right here is a, a great item for wood carvers, especially chainsaw carvers, because let me just show you here. This right here opens up, all right? It's got a foot pedal down here, and the pressure that you get from this thing when you actually step down on it is unbelievable. Uh, for instance, if I put this in, It's great for chainsaw carving. And I step down on this. Let me move this. This is not going to move at all. Okay, the unbelievable pressure that you get here. All right. So this right here is the one thing I use a lot for chainsaw carving, but I use it for almost every every uh, job that I do. So that's a Rockwell jaw horse. That's one of the main go-to items I use. All right. And the vise that I had in my hand, this right here is just a small carving vise. And what's nice about this 
is it swivels. Okay, that's got a C clamp on it. You can put it on any workbench. This is good for holding pieces of back basswood. I've done walking sticks with this even, right? And it swivels around, so that's a good little bench vise. But when you need something big, right? This the jaw horse here actually opens up. Let me show you that. Because there's different models. But what's great about this is this pulls out, turns around, and slides in like that. Can you see that? How big that opens up? Okay, you can actually hold sheets of plywood in this thing. All right, so you can extend it as big as you like. All right. Well, as far as it goes anyway it opens up to four feet though okay so with that said this is the rockwell jaw horse you can get a little vice in uh my storefront if you go there check it out i'll have all kinds of stuff that i'll recommend if you guys want to use the things i use just stop in there pick one up for yourself and i had to show you if you want to carve with both hands hands on and you need a holder we got you covered <laughs> okay okay with that said let's get into our next video